What's up everybody, this is Bear Pigman doing Tamuki Fighters for Slow B Shooting Gallery Thread. So this game right here is your average radio style shoot 'em up. Really one exception, every single ship that you destroy, you can grab parts of them, put them on your ship, and add them so you can make a gigant. You can basically turn yourself into a boss ship. You can see here, you shoot out your normal straight shot, no power ups for that and every piece that you attach to your ship, they shoot out their own bullet formation. It's identical to what the ships actually do when they fight you. Now, the only downside is if, you know, you can see on your ship right there, the red pixel, that's your hitbox. All the pieces that you attach to your ship aren't so lucky. You can see here, a bullet that even, like, touches them will make your parts of your ship just disintegrate. So you get a lot of firepower, but you can lose parts really quickly. But that also means that you can basically use it for uh, armor, shield, because there's no bomb in this game. There's no like bombing mechanism. So the only real defense you have against you know bosses and their bullet formation is to just layer yourself with armor and try and take a couple of shots. You can also see, uh, you know, points are popping up around. The more parts you have and when they're out you get uh, score points for having your parts out. So basically yeah you can see here all the bosses have multiple parts and as you see here you can just break off part of the boss and beat him with his own, with his own gun. But uh, when you slow down and focus, like in the Toho games, you can you instantly pull back all the parts of your ship. And you can see here, the first boss in this game is actually just a tiny version of you who happened to surround himself with all the same kind of weapons, same stuff that you're doing. So this game's a quick five-stage game. Not that tough, except for the final stage is pretty tough. Uh, you don't get to carry over your parts in between stages, so... You know. It's usually good in that case to, for the fin for the bosses to, you know, unless you care about score, you know, have all your parts out, let the boss obliterate them. When you do the game entirely on focus, it gets a little hectic, but the thing I like about focus is whenever you focus, when, when you're unfocused and you move your ship up and down, you can kind of spread fire shot, but uh, like you see here, I'm kind of shooting at a 30 degree angle, and I just grabbed mini boss right there. Probably the most satisfying part of the game is just like grabbing an entire mini boss and saving him for later. But if you focus at an angle, you can shoot at like a 45 degree angle. You don't have to worry about shooting straight forward. Now that's both the best thing about focus and the worst thing about focus because you, uh, if you, you know, have your boss parts out try and dodge and end up shooting down and like lock yourself in, you're pretty much stuck with the choice of having to straighten your ship out and let them blow up your uh, the parts that you collected or just say fuck it and try and angle your ship at a like, weird angle. I usually find it's uh, best to shoot up so that way when it eventually gets destroyed easier to kind of scoop in and take the parts. I mean, aside from that, there's really not much to say about the game. The bosses are pretty cool. The mini-boss... There's a mini-boss and a boss for each stage, uh, except for stage 5. There are two mini-boss segments. And stage 5 is really freaking tough. The stage 4 boss is really cool, but aside from that, it's... You know, you're pretty straightforward shooter. Apparently they made a, uh, a Wii game. 
using this as the prototype called Yeah, it came out for the Wii, it was called Blast Works Build Trade Destroy. I believe someone else in this thread is going to try and do a video for that. Apparently they found ways to upload user-created stages and, and what have you. And that was good, I, I played this game, this apparently came out in 2005, and I just remember playing it a lot in college, you know, it was like a free little cute shoot 'em up game. Shows my friends like part Katamari, part uh part Gradius. A lot of the bosses are pretty straightforward, um easy patterns. Really the only exception is the final boss. That part that sucks, like you, you, if you build a uh, a big ship, a lot of uh, enemy parts you wanna you wanna f try and fight as big as the boss himself, and if you do that, you're gonna lose everything really quickly. Most of the bosses too have a pretty easy, uh, like that last bullet segment there. There's always like a blind spot, and this one part isn't that tough, but he keeps moving, so as you see here, he actually, there's a timer. If you don't kill him in a certain amount of time, they just kind of leave. So yeah, it's a, it's a pretty quick game. We're on stage 4 or 5. Stage 4 is pretty tough. Well, it's because you keep having, like, These ships right here, which it's, it's easy to get trapped by those, especially because the uh, the colors of the shots just match with the background perfectly. So it's really hard to see where those pink bullets are going. You also the uh, quicker you kill a mini boss, as you'll see here in stage five, the uh, more the little like couple of pixel ships come out. Those things are really annoying. They'll just shoot you in the back without you realizing it, but if you can kill them, you can kind of use them as padding for your bigger parts. So, you know, if you take a mini boss part and you don't want to lose that, just kill a bunch of small small guys and get a layer coating on there so you won't, you won't lose your important parts all that quickly. Now, the stage 4 boss is pretty tough too. It's a pretty cool fight, but if you can get the mini boss part and a couple of these guys, like I'm doing here, uh, you can become a giant. So yeah, like I'm pretty much, I'm pretty much acting my home boss for stage four now, and I'm gonna lose like half of it right off the bat. But it makes the first part of this battle go by like a breeze. So yeah, the first two parts of it weren't that rough. Now, this part can be really hard. You can go in with full lives and die really quickly. And one thing you realize, if you if you haven't realized it by now, you'll definitely realize it during this fight. The only thing that actually kills you in this game are enemy bullets. If you uh, like run into the ship, it won't do any damage to you. So the first time I fought stage 4 boss, I thought I was, you know, there's no way to not run into there. Now, you see here it says uh, stage 1, as opposed to stage 5. This is actually the sta stage 5, but stage 5 gave me a lot of trouble, and if you go into the, you know, if 
you go into the folders and just change, you know, stage one, go into stage folders and change stage one, stage five, you can start the game at stage five. It's really handy if you want to, you know, practice the game or practice a stage or a part if you want to do like a score run or something like that. But even with that, uh, I still had a lot of trouble on the stage five boss. Stage five is pretty much just comprised of two mini boss segments and a bunch of these little ships in between. And they're really, those guys are annoying because you'll see there, they're shooting you at the back, you'll lose parts so quickly. So here's the second mini boss. The first one were those uh, three ships. These two are pretty annoying. Most of those orange and purple shots are surprisingly hard to avoid. See, one of them got me there. And that homing attack is really, like, hits you by surprise if you're not expecting it. It's not that tough to dodge, but it is certainly surprising. And the worst thing is if you, if they blow up before you can get their part, or if they release a bomb right before you get their part, you have, like, no shot at getting it. It sucks. So, the final boss here has three parts. I got him to the second. I've gotten him to the third in one practice, but I've never actually beaten him. So, you know, for this for this video, uh, I'm just gonna take him to the second to a second form. If I do a like actual full let's play this in the future, like for school, you know, high scores and whatnot, then I'll actually finish it. But I'm gonna need a lot more practice, and I've been kind of out of shooters for a while. So, yeah, it's a fun, quirky little game, but. Yep. Enjoy.